In 100 years, the Health Science Center has gone from something small to something that isn't what it not yet aspires to be, but an organization that has an economic impact that exceeds $2.3 billion in the state of Tennessee, that covers three major metropolitan areas, that does over $100 million in basic and clinical biomedical research, and trains the overwhelming majority of Tennessee's physicians, dentists, pharmacists, and doctorally trained nurses and allied health practitioners. That's what we're proud of. It's like the little childhood poem that there's the church, there's the steeple, open the door, and there's the people. The UT students, the UT professors, they are the people. They are the people who research. They are the people who care. They are the people who have a vision of a better quality life for everybody. We are richer to have you in our great city. We've been enriched for 100 years, and we want to applaud you for the next 100 years dedicated to a quality of life, the best, the best, the best, the best that science can give right here in a humble place of an institution that had a humble beginnings, but is now climbed to the heights, to the pinnacle of its career in research and in making this place a better place for everybody. Thank you, God bless you, and happy 100th. You know, if you believe in keeping healthy, um, this place has a great deal to do with it, whether you live in um, Copper Hill, or you live in Paris Landing, you live in Mountain City, or you live right here in Memphis. This place helps people keep uh, well and uh, live in a long time. My first talk was, in Ch as, as Chancellor, was to the downtown Rotary, and, and the and, and the and the, uh, my, the, the the topic of my address was the Health Science Center, the best kept secret in town. Well, it's no longer the best kept secret in town, and I think. What the Centennial does is, is bring to the forefront, finally, how big we are and, and how important we are to this, to this region and the state, and in fact, the nation. A hundred years ago, when this institution was formed and the people came together, who would have predicted that a space traveler would address the group tonight? A hundred years from now, the world will have changed and will be very different, and we can't predict what will be there. But some things will endure, and some things must endure. Many of us tonight, what we are, what wondrous things we have done, and how we've made a difference in the world began right here. We are the beneficiaries of a legacy that was given to us, and we must pass forward to a generation that will follow us and for another hundred years. May the circle be unbroken. Thank you. <laughs>